Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's happening? I hope you guys are doing well today. So good to see everybody. Uh, what's going on uh, today is a, is a hell of a day. I'm really excited. Uh, I am. Uh, I have the honor of taking over uh, Willie D's channel uh, for today. And uh, Willie D is a, a buddy of mine. And um, he gave me the honor of being able to come in and talk to y'all today. And we're going to talk about money. We're going to talk about how to make money without working. Uh, that's the topic for today. And uh, give me a yes or no, first of all, in the chat. Let me know you can hear me okay. I want to make sure my microphone's coming through good. Uh, give me a yes or no uh, in the chat. And also shout out the city that you're from. Let me know what city you're coming from. I see Safifer, uh, uh, Talbert, and Leo Queen, and Eric Appleton, and uh, Mr. Mr. Humble. Uh, what's going on? Let's see here. I'm looking to... Uh, there we go. Uncle Boyce, we can hear. Okay. What's up, Kev? How you doing, man? Good to see you. And uh, hey to everybody on Instagram. My Instagram is The Real Boyce Watkins. And uh, so, so uh, first of all, I want to uh, not just welcome you, but also uh, as you shout out your cities, I want to shout your city back. Uh, Angela Mitchell from Henderson, North Carolina. I've never been to Henderson, North Carolina. I've been to Raleigh, Durham. Uh, hey, Willetta, how are you? Uh, I can hear you. Shout out from Washington. Very nice to see you, sister. Uh, Mo McCoy, peace from Michigan. Michigan's right next door. I'm in Chicago. Uh, Keon Bullock, uh, no Willie D today. Yeah, Willie, uh, Willie stepped out a little bit and uh, he said, Hey, man, you know, Willie is like, he said, Say, man, you, you can just take the channel, man. So, <laughs> so Willie, Willie, um, uh, you know, he just gave him the channel today. And because uh, today we're going to talk about something that I think can help you. Uh, the goal is to uh, help you level up your life. Uh, help you uh, achieve your, your goals economically. Uh, you guys know that money is my thing. Uh, I'm a, a finance guy. And uh, and Willie and I, when we talk, we talk business, we talk money. Uh, you know, Willie uh, is uh, uh, not just a great dude, but he was, uh, in my view, I feel like he was one of the masterminds behind the ghetto boys and uh, in the creation of those powerful brands. And, and uh, so Willie and I met each other back in 2017. And I did an event in Houston. And I was sitting backstage about to go on stage and somebody said, uh, Willie D from the ghetto boys wants to talk to you. And I said, I said, what, what'd you say? And, uh, it, you know, and I, and I knew him, you know, obviously from the music and, uh, and I, and I was like, did you say, what did you say? Willie D from the ghetto boys? They said, yeah, and I said, okay, cool. So he came back and, uh, we just hit it off. We just hit it off. Uh, he's a good dude and he was actually in my wedding. And so, uh, so he's, so shout out to Willie and also just anybody that is, um, solid, you know, shout out to the solid, uh, solid men in our community and the solid women in our community. Uh, you're very, very important. So, so let me, uh, ask y'all this, give me a yes or no. Yes or no. How many of you grew up in a household where there were people that really thought it was impossible for you to make money without working? Like how many of y'all grew up in a house where, you know, if you said, Hey, I want to make some money, um, you know, and they, they, they would basically say, well, if you don't work, you don't eat. Anybody ever hear that type of stuff where like literally they made you feel like if you want to make money, uh, you have to go to work. Uh, I don't know if anybody else grew up like that, but that's how I grew up. I grew up in a house where basically everybody just had a job. You know, there, there was no such thing. Like It was almost like a fantasy to think that you could uh, not work and actually make money. And I didn't know these things. And it took me a long time to, to figure these things out. You know, eventually I studied finance in school. And the reason I studied finance was because I figured if I studied money and learned about money, somebody would pay me money to talk about money. You know, I thought about it like the way you think about playing a sport. Like if you play basketball or you play football and you want to win a championship, well, what do you got to do? You know, you got to you got to do an Allen Iverson. You got to practice. <laughs> you got to practice. Right. If you don't practice, then you're not going to be good at it. And so um, I was like, OK, if I if I learn these secrets of money and then I practice, then maybe one day I'll eventually have some money. And so that was literally the logic I had because I didn't grow up with a lot of money and uh, pe people in my family didn't talk about money. Uh, I really think that everybody in our community should talk about money. I think that if you care about your kids, you're going to talk to them about having money uh, because a lot of our people end up slaves because they don't have enough money. Uh, so give me a yes in the chat if you agree with what I'm saying, if you hear what I'm saying. Also, hit the thumbs up button, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and everything else. And uh, we're broadcasting on Willie D Live. And my name is Dr. Boyce Watkins. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to lay out something that I think is really, really cool. Now, on Instagram, you guys won't be able to actually see the slides, uh, but I'll talk you through it. Or you can actually go to Willie D Live on YouTube and you can, uh, you can actually see the slides on the screen. I'm literally going to talk to you about something that some people don't even believe it's possible. 
Uh, it's like, you know, almost like a financial magic trick. Uh, how to make money without working. Uh, I heard 50 Cent actually say this not too long ago, and he was actually correct when he said it. And he said that uh, he said, you really ain't making money till you make money when you ain't got to work. Uh, when you're working, what you're doing is basically you're selling what is called your human capital. You're selling yourself. You're selling your body. You're selling your time right uh, to your boss. And your boss gives you money in exchange for you providing yourself like, OK, I'll be here. I'll show up. You know, I'm gonna leave my kids at home, you know, get away from my family. I'm gonna come hang out with you. And, uh, and I'm going to spend eight hours a day on this job and you'll pay me for that, right? Now, remember, it doesn't have to be that way. It does not have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way. There's, there's families where they don't have to do that. you know. And, and, and it's not because they got lucky. It's not because they just were all born rich. It might be something basic. Somebody leaves you a life insurance policy, right? Like you leave a life insurance policy for your kids and they have a million dollars in the bank. Well, they, they don't really have to work anymore. They, it changes the game. Like imagine how different your life would have been if somebody just left you like a couple hundred thousand in insurance, I don't know. Give me a yes or no. How many of you uh, did not get, have never gotten an inheritance from anybody? Give me a yes or no in the chat. How many other people, because I know I didn't, I never got anything. I never knew what it would felt like to have somebody just leave me a bunch of money or anything like that. How many of you never, ever got an inheritance? Damn, they didn't even get a life insurance policy. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> like, give me a yes in the chat if you in the category of like the people that started off broke. I was like that. You know, I started off broke as a joke. I mean, I had nothing, you know, and, and I spent a lot of years struggling before I was able to get stable. And I did not know that that's not the way it's supposed to be. You understand? And, and you're not going to do that to your kids uh, because we're talking about that now. If you make a plan ahead of time, then your children don't have to go through that. So I'd like actually, before we even begin this conversation, because it's really each one teach one, I really want your life to elevate because we're talking. I know there's a lot of things you could be doing other than listening to me right now. So if you could give me a verbal confirmation in the chat that you're not going to leave your kids asked out like that, give me a yes in the chat. Give me a yes. If you're not going to leave your kids just out here struggling, you're going to start investing for your kids, stuff like that. Um, if, if you go to my website, boycewalkins.com, I have a free ebook uh, on a $5 a day investing plan that you can use where you could invest just $5 a day in the stock market and put your kids in a great position by the time they're 25 years old. I'm talking about a couple hundred thousand dollars that'll make sure they're not in the struggle, to make sure that they're not slaves, to make sure they don't have to go sell their body to make money, to make sure they don't got to go out in the streets to get money. They don't have to go put themselves in harm's way to get money. It doesn't have to be that way. Okay. So thank you for the yeses. I see you, Billy and Miss Sugar and Buckhorse DC and Isaac Simmons, Taylor Made. Uh, Latrice, <clears throat> Risen, et cetera. All right, so here we go. Now let's get to the point. Let's let's jump in. He said, he said, come on, let's get to the point. All right, let's do it. We're gonna do it right now. All right, so here's what uh here, here's where uh I, what I want to introduce you to, and uh, give me a yes in, in the chat if you can see the slides that are on the screen. Um, I put the slides up that say uh, how to make money without working. Uh, let me know if you're able to see it, okay? And uh, so so he, here's the deal. <clears throat> uh, basically, I'm gonna talk to you guys about stock options. A lot of you may have heard about stock options because a lot of people trade stock options, but uh, a lot of people, they are they are very interested in um, buying stock options. Uh, I'm not here to talk to you about buying stock options because I'm, I'm going to explain to you why that's kind of a sucker's move. That's a sucker's bet. I'm going to talk to you all about selling stock options, which is a much more uh, strategic bet in terms of where you put your money that's more likely to work out for you. OK, so uh, and I've been doing this with my family. This is how we make our money and it does really work. All right. So let's dig in. All right. So why are you here? Well, number one, <clears throat> I believe you're listening because one, you want to generate passive streams of income. Passive income means you don't have to work for it. It means the money comes in your bank account even while you're sleeping. Uh, that is the dream. That's the dream. You'll be dreaming about money. Then you wake up and the, and the money's really there. It ain't just a dream. It's your reality. <clears throat> number two, you maybe want you want to level up your life the way you level up is you find people that know what they're talking about and you listen to them, right? So if I want to learn how to do heart surgery, I'm going to listen to a heart surgeon. If I want to be a great basketball player, I listen to LeBron, right? So ultimately, uh, I can be your financial version of LeBron where I can explain to you uh, where the opportunities exist so you can really do your best to take care of yourself and your kids. Next, you want to invest in a way that's safe, uh, it's affordable, and it helps your family. And uh, also, you want to leave a generational legacy. You don't want your kids saying, when my daddy didn't leave me nothing, my daddy messed up the money. You want your kids to say, my daddy was a boss. My daddy took care of everything and everybody. Uh, my daddy did a good job uh, before he died. And that's why my life is better, because my daddy was here. OK. All right. So what do you want to avoid? The things you want to avoid are 
You want to avoid the pain of generational curses. I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm sick of us hearing stories about somebody dying and having to have a GoFundMe account to pay for the funeral. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of seeing little girls out here having to sell, you know, sell what God gave them in order to, to just pay the rent, you know, hang out with some sloppy guy or, or get in a bad situation. I'm tired of young guys getting in the street, getting killed to go make money. Uh, that's not cool. Uh, also, you want to get rid of the trauma of financial insecurity. Now, my wife is an expert actually on trauma. She's an expert on psychology. She's a therapist. And she said trauma in our community is very, very strong. And a lot of that trauma links to financial problems and links to money stress. I don't want you to go through that stress. And the last thing that you want to avoid and get rid of is really that stress that really comes from working for other people. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but um, I don't know if anybody in here, give me a yes in the chat. If you've ever had a job where you used to fantasize about uh, beating the hell out of your boss, you know, on, just on a Tuesday, just because it's Tuesday. I don't know about y'all, but I used to go to work and I would literally, to make myself feel better, I remember fantasizing about jumping across the desk and just strangling that guy. Uh, so work, some people ain't really built for slavery. And I'm not saying that if you work for other people, you are a slave. I'm just saying, I think you should have an option. There's a difference between working for other people because you want to versus working for other people because you have to. Now, very quickly, uh, who am I? Uh, my name is Dr. Boyce Watkins, and that's a picture of me in my second birthday party. Uh, my mother, <clears throat> when she gave birth to me, she was 17 years old. Uh, she was a single mother. They told her she should abort me. They told her that she should not give birth to a baby because she didn't have any money. Uh, my mother handed me to God and uh, said that it's going to work out, and it did. And so uh, so years later, you know, I struggled through school. I didn't do well in high school. My grades were terrible. Uh, like a lot of young black boys, I thought I was going to be some kind of athlete. You know, I, I thought that maybe I could do, run track or play basketball, or play football. Um, but obviously, I didn't know how much competition I'd have. So that really didn't work out. And I had a baby when I was 18 years old. And uh, at that time, I kind of made a decision like I didn't want to be broke. I got to figure out a way to take care of this baby. And uh, that's why I chose to change my life. So what did I choose to become? Well, I eventually uh, went to college and I was the top finance student at the University of Kentucky. I got the Wall Street Journal Award for uh, Outstanding Graduating Senior in Finance. Uh, I then continued on. I started teaching college students when I was 22 years old. Uh, the University of Kentucky, I taught at Indiana University. I taught at Syracuse University. I taught at the Ohio State University. I also taught students in China. After that, uh, when I got tired of working for Syracuse University, uh, I eventually said I want to teach my people. And that's my number one goal in life is to elevate the economic thinking of my people. So black wealth is on my brain every single day, all day long, no matter what. And uh, now we have one hundred and forty eight thousand students in the black business school all over the world. And uh, and, and, and and the results are there. I mean, they, we got people in there that are now uh, doing very well financially that have leveled up big time. Uh, because of the, the things that we taught them. We partnered with people like billionaire Mike Roberts and, and uh, you know, uh, real estate mogul Herb Strather out of, uh, out of uh, Detroit, who's done over a billion dollars worth of real estate deals. Uh, this weekend, uh, we saw uh, uh, some other people at the FraserNet conference. So, so we, we, we get it done, right? We, we're good at what we do. And we believe that our people should be teaching our people. That's what we believe. And we believe that our families are important. And we believe that putting in putting our community first. And we believe that we are the solution that we've been waiting for. That's what we believe. My biggest investment ever, I got to mention this, it was my beautiful wife. Uh, I got on the internet. I got, I got, <laughs> I, you know, some people liked it. Some people didn't. I did not give a damn. I got on my knee and I proposed to that black woman because I wanted every black man on earth that listens to me to understand how important our women are to our community. That a black man is not complete, in my opinion, until he considers uh, bringing in a black woman in his life. You wouldn't be here without your black mother. And so uh, to me, honoring my wife and my family is very, very important to me. And I don't, I don't care who, who knows it or who, who gets mad about it. Uh, that's just who I am. That's what I stand for. That's what I believe. And the other thing about investing that you really want to understand, this is a part of the economic game that they don't tell you, is that most wealth is built by family. Most wealth is built by you know, people working together. Most wealth comes from uh, a man and a woman working together or, or, or parents working together with their kids or cousins coming together. You got to understand, see, wealth is a team sport. You know, wealth is not a solo sport. Wealth is not a solo sport where you do it by yourself and you start over every generation. The biggest mistake our people make when it comes to wealth is we think that we're supposed to just be solo all the time. And, and every generation you're trying to start over again and you competing with families where they've been building wealth for 120 years. Because the grandfather and the, the, the father and the son are on the same agenda. You understand? So, so for us, for us to reach our greatness, 
the black man cannot rise without the black woman. The black woman cannot rise without the black man. And that's one of the things that I firmly believe in. I'm not backing off of that ever. I stand on that. OK, so uh, moving on. Uh, the right moves can make you better. Uh, that's just, <laughs> that's an example where effort made a difference. You know, I used to have a little extra stomach on me. And uh, and so my wife, uh, when, when she saw me gaining all that weight, she encouraged me to start running. And I was able to slim down. And uh, I, I achieved the amazing goal of actually looking better uh, at 51 than I did at 41. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, you know, a good woman will, will keep you alive. A good woman will make you better. But also in general, uh, it's a lot like economics. When you're talking about trying to slim down financially, that's a lot like slimming down physically. Here's the deal. I, I, it wasn't like I never knew what I needed to do in order to lose weight. I always knew exactly what I needed to do. It was never a mystery for me. But the thing was, it was the execution that I wasn't doing. It was like, you know, if I just got up and went jogging, you know, once every couple of days, the weight would have came off. So a lot of times what holds us hostage is not what we know. It's what we do. It's culture. It's it's habits. You know, and so I don't know. Give me a yes or no in the chat. If you feel like you grew up in a family where the economic habits and choices and culture was just not conducive for wealth. Like, give me a yes or no. You know, I know like Willie Willie's in, in, in the hip hop space. And one thing that I love about Willie, because we talk about rappers all the time and everything else. And I said, you know, man, I think the reason you and I are great friends and the reason um, I could talk to you. I love talking to Ice Cube as well uh, is because you guys don't really you didn't you, you've grown beyond the okie doke where they teach you like to just throw your money away as soon as you get it. You understand that the best way to build your wealth is to keep your money. That if you give your money away, you won't have any money, right? So really, ultimately, um, th you know, this th it, it's very similar to trying to lose weight. It's really not so much about what you know; it's what you apply, and it's the the culture and the principles that you apply on a daily basis. So I'd like to ask your permission. I'd like for you to give me a yes in the chat, yes or no. Uh, if I rock it out, if I lay it out for you, and I give you some good information, I give you something that elevates your thinking. Is it okay if I spend about ten minutes laying out a special offer to you? Uh, in the black business school. Uh, just give me a verbal yes in the chat to let me know it's okay. If um, if I if I teach you something and you walk away feeling like, okay, I really learned something today. I've grown. I've evolved my thinking. Uh, is it okay if I make a quick uh, layout for you of a, a great program we have? Just give me a yes in the chat. All right. So, so thank you, CC and Stefan and Michael Daniels. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. So let, let's, 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 di let's dig deeper in this then. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about um, stock options. Now, uh, give me a yes or no. How many of you uh, feel some familiarity with stock options or have used them or have seen them used at all? Uh, give me a yes or no. Uh, Willie and I were talking about stock options the other day, and uh, we were talking uh, a lot about the buy side of stock options, where there are a lot of people out here that buy stock options. But uh, I said, you know, man, actually, I, ne I don't really buy stock options that much. I sell stock options. Because uh, what happened during 2020 was that a lot of people started investing and they were using stock options for various reasons. And I'll explain why. And, uh, be and when people want something, when the demand for that thing goes up, when everybody wants it, the price goes up. Right. Because everybody's trying to get it. Right. So and the thing about business is that when the price of something goes up, you don't want to be a buyer. You want to be a seller. Right. And, and with stock options, every buyer must have a seller, just like every baby has a mommy and a daddy. Right. A mother and a father. Right. So basically. Um, you know, I said, well, did you ever think about the sales side of stock options? And 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 we we started talking more about that. So a stock option is real simple. Uh, most of you know what it means to have options. Give me a yes in, in the chat if you know what it feels like to have options versus not having options, right? If somebody says, well, you want to have options, you want to exercise your options. Do you know you you get that concept, right? Well, a stock option is the same way. An option is basically a situation where you can do something if you want to but you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Okay. Uh, so an example might be like an athlete, right? Uh, so an athlete might sign a uh, contract with the Dallas Cowboys and the Cowboys might say, we'll pay you $10 million a year, but we have an option to re-sign you for 10 million a year in your fifth, after your fifth season, we have the option to do it, but we don't have to do it, but we got the option to do it. That means, that means that in your fifth year, you can't go sign with another team. You have to sign with our team. You gave, we're going to give you a little extra money up front for you to get to give up your freedom, to give up your right to go and sell your services to another team. Right? You're not a free agent until we say so. Right? So, but so they have to give them a little money to, in order to get that option. Right? Well, the same thing is true that happens in the stock market. 
So you might have a stock that's trading at like $60, $60 a share. Somebody uh, on the other side of the transaction, somebody you don't know, you don't even talk to them. But basically, uh, they will say something like, um, you know, uh, the market will say that you have you can sell an option for somebody to buy your sixty dollar stock for sixty five dollars before a certain date. So you got they got one month for to buy your stock for sixty five dollars. Now, why would they do that? They wouldn't buy it if the price is sixty. They wouldn't buy it at sixty five right then. But the reason that they would buy the option is because they think that the price might go up. So if the price goes up, like if the price goes up to sixty five or seventy or eighty then they can go back and buy your stock for 65 and then they can sell it on the market for 75 or 80. So they make money when the price goes up. So basically um, an option is a big market. It's massive. There's 40 million trades a day on this market. It's what they call very liquid. Liquid means you can get in and get out. You can sell and you can buy, you can make your moves in, in all within a day. And there's a lot of money being made in this market. So the options market, just remember this, that options for every, every time an option is purchased, so an option must be sold, right? So you can either get on the buy side or you can get on the sell side. Uh, give me a yes in the chat if that makes sense. Give me a yes to confirm so I can move on to let me know let, to, uh, let me know that you at least understand the foundation of what I just explained to you. That an option means that I have sold somebody. If I sell the option, I have give they give me money and I give them the right to buy my stock for a certain price before a certain date. Okay. All right. Good. <clears throat> All right. So let's keep going here. Let's 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 move on. All right. So with with options, here's the deal. Uh, the the interesting thing about options, a lot of people don't know. Millions and millions of people line up to try to buy options all the time. Uh, if you heard about things like Wall Street bets, maybe, or you heard about meme stocks, or you heard about you know people jumping in the stock market back in 2020, everybody was buying these stock options. Everybody was buying them. <clears throat> and here's the thing. Uh, you know, I, this is something I learned in my PhD program when I was going through all the research. Buying stock options, especially stock options that are what what is called out of the money, that's where the uh, the, the the price that you could buy it at is the buy the stock at is is actually higher than the the current price. Where you got to wait for the price to go up. That that's a losing strategy. They're not making money, and they were really getting killed uh, when the stock market started going down. And so the whole time though. <clears throat> I was never trying to buy those options. I was selling those options. So when they're losing money, then the people on the other side of the deal are making money. You follow what I'm saying? So so basically, while they're over there losing, I was over there winning because I wasn't trying to do what everybody else was trying to do. I was trying to do what winners do. Basically, a person that buys a stock option from you is almost like they're gambling with your stock. So they're paying you money for the right to say, okay, if your stock price goes above that price, then I get to I get to own your stock. So they're, they're kind of placing the gamble. And what you are is you're kind of like the house, right? Because it's your stock. You own the stock. So you sell them the option and they give you money. So they're the gambler and you're the house. Now, I don't know if anybody's ever gone to, to Vegas, but when you go to Vegas, who wins with, between the gamble and the house? Who wins? Does the gambler typically win or does the house typically win? Who wins, the gambler or the house? Answer that in the chat for me. There you go. The house. The house wins. The house always wins. And and and, and, and it doesn't matter. You could tell people that, but they still going to go to Vegas and gamble. Because if you tell them, well, you know, uh, of all the gamblers, 75% of the gamblers usually lose and only 25% win. Well, a lot of people will still gamble anyway. Because they'll be thinking, well, I, I might be one of that 25%. I might be one of the lucky ones, right? And so so, so ultimately, what I'm showing you how to do is not how to be the gambler. I want you to be the house because the house always wins. So what you got to do is, is when, you, when you take this approach, though, you can't be greedy. And, uh, and so what are you selling? You're really, when, when you have a stock, let's say your stock price is 60 and you sell an option that, that where somebody can buy your stock for 65, what are you selling? Well, you're selling possibility. You're selling the, the potential that your stock will go up. You're selling the upside. That's what you're selling to somebody else. So somebody uh, believes the stock might go up, so they give you money and they say, I just want to reserve the right to buy your stock for 65 in case the price goes up. Uh, options get sold on land. In Hollywood, sometimes a studio will buy an option on somebody's script. They'll say, hey, we don't know if we want to buy your script or not, but we'll give you some money just to, so you can hold it for us in case we decide to buy it. <clears throat> so options get sold all the time. And again, you know what options are because you know what it's like to have options and when it's not to have options. So what I'm going to show you is the following. I'm going to show you why selling stock options is a better investment than real estate. 
Uh, I invest in real estate, but it's better than real estate. I like it more than real estate. Why selling stock options is easier than running a business. And also why selling stock options is better than simply owning shares of stock. Look, I do all three of those things. I, 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 get, I have real estate, I run businesses, and I own stock. But selling stock options has been the best method for generating income without working. And I, I'll explain why. So let me show you this picture. So uh, we bought this house in Atlanta, right? Me and my wife did. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, we bought it, you know, as like an investment property. We really liked it. And, you know, we're making these real estate moves. And and, uh, and that's just something that we do. And I believe real estate's an important investment. Because remember, when you invest, you don't want all your money in one place. You don't want all your money in the stock market. You don't want all your money in crypto. You don't want all your money sitting over in, in one category. You spread your money out. That's how you keep your money safe. Never, ever put all your money in one place. So we spread out. We bought this house in Atlanta. And uh, we, we got all excited. We were going to rent it out and all this other stuff. And then this happened. So <laughs> I get a call from my neighbor who's pissed off for logical, for, for legitimate reasons. And basically what happened was the sump pump backed up and we flooded our basement and the neighbor's basement. And all that nasty stuff on the screen, that's mold. Like that's mold. And you know, mold is dangerous and you, you got to go dig it out of the walls and all that stuff. So they had to, we had to redo the whole bathroom which was a lot of money. Then I, and I had to replace the pumps. I had to then pay the neighbor. I had to pay thousands of dollars to the neighbor to get to fix his basement, right? Because his daughter's room smelling like mold, and I'm feeling kind of bad about that, right? So, so what I the, here's the thing. To be honest with you, it wasn't just the money that drove me crazy. It was just the stress and the inconvenience. You know, I got stuff to do. <laughs> I'm busy. I got time to be dealing with stuff like this, and I didn't plan for this. Right. So basically, um, you know, that the, the, that kind of reminded me that I really don't want to be a landlord. Like, being a landlord just ain't that much fun for me. And so um, <clears throat> and then when I looked at the money I was making from my real estate investments versus my stock options, it was no comparison. I was literally making about six times more in terms of return on investment from selling my options, which required no work at all than what I was making on my real estate, which had all these expenses, all this inconvenience, all this stress, all this paperwork, everything else. Now, I'm not saying don't invest in real estate. I still own my real estate. I'm going to buy more. You remember, you spread your money out. But real estate is not my favorite way to make money. Uh, selling stock options is much, much easier because you can do it on your phone. Secondly, let's talk about businesses and being an entrepreneur. I'm a big believer in having a business. I believe that every child in our community should be taught how to start a business by the time they're 12 years old. <clears throat> if you want to make sure your children are free, do not ever put them in a position where all they know how to do is get a job. They're going to be stressed out. They're going to be mad. They're going to be upset. If, if so-and-so ain't hiring, they're going to be stuck, stuck on, you know, just stuck in a bad situation. Uh, so entrepreneurship is awesome. Uh, it gives you freedom. It can increase your income. Uh, I think a, a good investment. In fact, uh, I talk, I've taught college students for almost 30 years now, and I'm a big believer in going to college and all that, but I also think that going and learning how to be the best entrepreneur you could be is just as good as college. A lot of college students never learn how to start a business. So I'm a big believer in starting businesses. But what's the downside? Well, the downside of starting a business is that you got to work hard. It, it takes a lot of your time. You know, a lot of people, they, 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 they quit their job, they start their business, and now you own your job, but you're like a solo entrepreneur. I don't know anybody, any entrepreneurs in the building, anybody own a business? What do y'all think? Anybody own a business? Like, if you own a business, you know what I'm talking about. You know, this is not a game. This is not a joke. I mean, I'm, I'm asking, is, is anybody a business owner? And if you are, <clears throat> then you know what I'm talking about. The hours are long. It's really, really stressful after a while. Even when you make the money, it's still just, it, it gets to a point where it's not even worth it anymore. You know, because, because you're, you're not even, you're not able to see your, your family. Um, I know lawyers who make $800 an hour that they get about 55 years old and they're like, I'm tired. I don't want to be at the office every day for 14 hours a day. And some of them are 35 and feel that way, right? So, so ultimately, I'm not trying to say running a business is bad. I'm saying that, again, going back to what I said earlier about what 50 Cent was saying, which I agree with, I, I'm glad he said it, is that you want to eventually get to the point where you're making your money without having to sell labor to get paid. OK, so the epiphany I came to, the second epiphany I came to is that passive income is more enjoyable than active income. That getting money not working, letting your money work for you is better than you always working for your money because eventually you get tired. Uh, now, next, what's the third area? 
Well, owning stock. I'm, I'm big on owning stocks. I have probably a thousand students in my stock stock market class, right? We talk about stocks all the time. I wrote my PhD dissertation on stock market investing. I love it. Stock market investing, by the way, that's the number one wealth driver in this country. If you don't own stock, it's almost impossible to get rich in America. You do not. I don't care what anybody says. Don't let anybody talk you out. Oh, well, the stock market's rigged and it's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. America's rigged. America's got problems. All, all that's true. But let me tell you, the first step to being rich is to do what rich people do. And most rich people own stock. So owning stock is a really important part of your uh, wealth strategy. Owning stock is what you're going to do for your kids after we walk up out of here. Maybe get your little app and just put maybe you know $20 a week or whatever you can afford. Put it, put it into your app so you can own the stock. Don't sell that stock and your child will be in a better economic position. Owning stock is important. But here is the problem that can come up when it comes to stock. This is why you got to have a plan B. Uh, the market has been terrible lately. The market was doing great in 2020. People were making money hand over fist. A lot of people jumped out in the market because they saw all the money that was being made. And I, I get it. But they were getting an unrealistic assessment. They were getting an unrealistic view of, 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 you know, of, of what the market was supposed to look like. So now you're seeing what the stock market does. The stock market is temperamental. It's like a relationship with a with a moody woman or a moody man where where you, you might get sunshine one day and, and drama the next. So the stock market right now is giving drama. And here's the problem. If you own stock and you're trying to make your money just by owning stocks or flipping stocks through day trading, when the market starts going down, you start bleeding money. Well, with stock options, you can make money whether the market goes up or the market goes down. Because when you're selling the option and you're selling a piece of the upside on your stock, you're basically getting a bird in the hand and you're selling the 10 birds that might be in the bush. Right. Uh, when I the, the, you know, the reason I love selling stock options is because I'm not a greedy investor. I don't need to make all the money. I just want to make sure I get my cut. So when you're selling a stock option, you are basically selling the upside. You're saying, look, my stock is at 60. I'll take everything up to 63. You can have the rest, but you got to pay me for that and put the money in my account. Now, it might go to 63. Maybe it'll go down. Either way, though, you pay me and I don't have to give the money back after you pay me. And that's how you secure your money. So so a bird in the hand can be better than 10 birds in the bush. So I'm not saying don't take a risk, but a lot of people took a lot of risk and they lost a lot of money because of it. If you got kids to feed like I do, then you understand that having the money in the bank account can be a more secure approach than simply always betting it all and always feeling the stress of having to wait things for things to go up. All right, so let me ask you. Now, uh, you, you told me earlier that if I if I taught you something uh, and helped you learn something that I could give you a 10-minute uh, proposal on joining the Black Business School at a discounted price. Uh, did I do okay? Give me a yes or no in the chat. Give me a yes if you feel that you learned something today that you didn't know or you see things differently than what you uh, you saw in the beginning. Just give me a confirmation uh, verbally, a yes in the chat to let me know if it's okay if I move forward and lay this out for you. I'm not going to take a lot of your time, uh, but I'd like to invite you to join us uh, and so you, we can dig deeper into this. All right. So thank you, Kay and Queen and Lucius and Jonathan. I appreciate it. All right. Perfect. So let's, let's, let's jump in. And uh, what I want to talk to you guys about is something that we created in the Black Business School called the Passive Recurring Income Machine or Dr. Boyce Prime. Uh, and it basically, it's a new coaching program that we have that literally shows you exactly how to do exactly what I'm talking to you guys about today. Uh, the ability to, to make money by selling stock options doesn't just mean uh, knowing how to sell a stock option. It means going through the process of going through thousands of stocks and knowing how to pick the right ones. It means knowing how to pivot and make adjustments as the market changes. It means knowing how to make your moves at the end of the week or the end of the month when you're trying to transfer your options over. It also means coming up with me methods and avenues where you can build wealth by coming together with your family and your, your friends or your loved ones to, 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 to make more money together. You make more money when you work together as a team than you do as an individual. We're all about family in the Black Business School. So we're talking about safe, passive income. Income. We're talking about stock market research. We're talking about income research where you can figure out which stocks are going to pay you the most money. Just like selling uh, pairs of Air Jordans or selling uh, or selling you know, hot dogs or, or chicken on the street, right? Knowing where to sell the, the food and, and what to sell is a very important part of it. So with stocks, knowing which stocks to own that are going to generate the most income, that's part of what I help you do. And also I help you pick the right time horizons to sell your options on. 
help you manage the risk so you can minimize the risk. Nothing is risk-free, but at the same time, there are ways that you can actually keep yourself out of harm's way as you're making this move. I also have something that I put together called the Dr. Boyd's Method, which is a method of selecting stocks that I use based on the, the things I study when I got my PhD. And, uh, and also we even talk about leverage, how to use debt in a good way in order to accelerate your income. A lot of people tell you that debt is bad or they'll tell you that debt is good. Both of those people are lying. Anybody who tells you that debt is bad is lying to you. Anybody who tells you that debt is good is lying to you. How can, they, well, how can you say that? How can, how can I say that? I, wanna, I want you to process it. Think about that for a minute. How can I say that? That debt is not good, debt is not bad, or that they're both lying to you? Well, they're lying to you because debt is not one thing. It's not always good. It's not always bad. It's like fire. Debt is powerful. Fire, is fire good or is fire bad? Well, fire is good if you got to cook your food, but fire is bad if you're burning somebody alive. Um, is a uh uh you know, is is a drug are drugs good or bad? Well, drugs are good if you're using drugs to heal somebody and make them healthier, but they're bad if you become a crackhead, right? So debt is the same way. Debt is something that can be used to generate more money for you, but you must use it in a way that is disciplined and intelligent and under the right conditions. So what I hear all the time that drives me crazy is I'll hear people, like I'll hear like a Dave Ramsey say, well, debt is bad. You got to get rid of all the debt. And if you get rid of the debt, then you're debt free. You gotta... I get that. I understand that. Some debt, yeah, you get rid of it. Credit card debt, all that for sure. But you don't understand. Most millionaires and billionaires in this country got rich off of debt. Elon Musk would not be a billionaire if it wasn't for debt. Elon Musk was almost bankrupt. What bailed him out was debt. Elon Musk got $100 million when he sold PayPal. He got he dwindled at 99 out of $100 million trying to start SpaceX. If they had not given him some debt or some financing, he would have been wiped out. So debt is not always bad. Don't let anybody ever tell you that debt is always terrible. But then don't let anybody tell you that debt is always good. Debt will get you in trouble. The whole crypto space is getting killed right now because they took on too much debt. So debt, like a drug, must be used in an intelligent capacity. So what we focus on in uh, the Dr. Boyce Prime program is how to use debt in an intelligent way so that you don't get in over your head, but you're able to accelerate your income. It's like driving a car. You don't want to go two miles an hour. You don't want to go so slow that you ain't going to get there, but you don't want to go so fast that you crash into a tree. Do you understand? Give me a yes if you if you get what I'm saying. Okay. All right. So so here's what here's what you get in the program. There's a lot of great stuff in this program. I think you're gonna like what you see, and I hope you'll consider taking a look because uh, th this is something that I'm really proud of. So number one, we do bi-weekly coaching calls. It means once a, once every two weeks we get together, and it's usually even more than that because I love talking to my students. We get together, and and you can ask me questions, and we talk about what I'm doing. This is money I'm investing myself. So I'm I'm literally there celebrating with you when we're making money. I'm there crying with you <laughs> when we don't make money. Uh, I'm I'm in it with you. This is not something I'm teaching you. This is something I'm doing and I'm mentoring you and guiding you as I'm doing the same thing you're doing. So we're we're, we're, we're seeing the world together. Okay, so bi-weekly coaching calls, uh, you get access to something that I call the Financial Juneteenth Investing Masterclass. This is a two-day event that I did that I recorded every single thing that breaks down everything involving stock investment. If you don't know how to invest in the stock market, by the time you get done going through some of the material that we have, and there's a lot of it, it that's available for you if you want to go through it, you will know more about stock market investing than the average MBA in this country. And I encourage you to bring your family, bring your wife, bring your kids, bring your baby daddy, whoever you want to bring. I want this to be a family thing because the more people you have around you that know how to make money, that understand you, that have the same goal as you, the more likely you are to achieve your goal. Uh, also, what do you get? You get access to something I call What Dr. Boyce is Buying. Every week I go through and I do a ton of research. I'm constantly reading financial news, constantly doing research on everything. I pick out about five stocks a week that I really like, that look like they're really good money makers over time, really good long-term investments. You get access to that as part of the program. What else? Uh, you get access to, I mean, here's, here, this, is, this is something that really I'm really proud of because this addresses a part of the wealth process that, that people don't talk about. How many of you have uh, family members that are hard to work with? Am I the only one? That give, I, I, I'm gonna raise my hand first because I got some relatives where I can't even, you know, I just some of them you just like I can't I can't work with you, yeah, or or, we, or maybe we're not talking or whatever. But but I want you to really process and think about 
how many people you might know in your family where if y'all could get along and you could find a way to work together and you could have some structure, you could really make money together. You could really do well together. I can think of really talented loved ones I have who have a hard time working with other people uh, that I would love to be able to work with. Well, a lot of times what that comes from, and my wife actually uh, broke this down for me, it comes from trauma. Our people go through so much trauma that trauma makes it hard sometimes for you to form collective groups and be on cold with each other and work together with each other. And I told you that wealth is a team sport. Wealth is something where you want to be gang affiliated. Uh, a corporation is pretty much a gang. It's, it's, a, it's a, a code of conduct amongst a group of people who all agree to accomplish the same goal. They have a certain hierarchy, etc. Right. So basically, when you are out here trying to do it by yourself, it's really, really hard. So what I would like to do is uh, I, I, I talked to my wife about it. She is a therapist. She works with couples and, and families on a regular basis to basically help them overcome their issues so you can get back to working together. I don't know if anybody knows this, but do you know what, what happens in the mafia if, if something gets out of line, out of whack, you know, there's a war? What do they do? What, what, what do they do in the mafia? Well, they arrange a sit down. They arrange a sit down so that when they get together and they sit down and they talk it out, their goal is to say, okay, how do we get along? Because war loses money. Fighting costs, costs us money. So they want to get together. They want to figure it out and they want to work through their problems. So one of the things that we have is a support group to help you with the psychology of wealth building and help you connect as a family, as a team, as a couple, as business partners, whatever it is you want, where my wife works with you and helps you to really overcome your differences so you can keep uh, keep things going and keep things together. Uh, she can show you how to structure your family investment club meetings. Uh, we show you how to build family investment clubs so you can pull your money together and get money together as a collective. So nobody has to go work for anybody because now you're working for the family. Now you're serving the family. Now you're bringing it home. You're not going and working for Mr. Charlie no more because now you have this family business. Now you have this family investment club. So that's so. So these sessions will happen once a month. And she'll get together and work you through these things. She can also help you with things that we don't talk a lot about, like financial trauma. Uh, a lot of us have a weird relationship with money because we grew up poor. We grew up stressed. We grew up with a struggle. We grew up having to do crazy things in order to get money, right? So that causes types of financial anxiety. She's an expert on all these things. And that's something that we add because there's not enough talk about that aspect of the black wealth building process. Uh, that And again, you ain't got to be black to be in the program, but we are the black business school. We represent the black community. You ain't got to be black to be here, but you got to understand that we are here first and foremost for the black community. That, and that's something we don't apologize for. All right. So anyway, uh, moving on, uh, you get access to investment club training programs, blueprints and materials. Everything I do is recorded. It's all right there. You can share it with your family. It's all available for you uh, as long as you're a member of the program. And we show you how to form a family investment club in the right way. Uh, the next thing you get access to is what I call Dr. Boyce Moneymakers. This is every week I make a list of stocks that pay well in terms of stock options. The stocks that I select based on the criteria that I use uh, that are stocks that you can then buy and add to your portfolio and generate income from those stocks instantaneously. So this is a program that's designed to help you start making money next week. It's not one that's going to help you make money one day. It's not a skill that might make, help you make money. No, I will show you how to start making money with us next week. This is That's what it's designed for. Uh, what else? You also get access to a, a stock options training program that I put together that basically explains the buy side of options. Now, today I've talked to you about the sell side because that's what I'm really super excited about. But some of you may want to buy options. There is a way to buy them safely and intelligently. And there's a whole training program that we put in there for that. Uh, last but not least, you get access to uh, what Black Money 102. In the Black Business School, we have Black Money 101, which is an introduction to the power of money. Black Money 102 is how to invest in the stock market. So if you're really intrigued by stock market stuff and you just want to have stuff to listen to while you're walking around the house or whatever it is, then we give you access to all that material too. So what's the value of everything that's in this program? Well, if you add up the value of everything individually, you come up with $8,692 per year. So there's an annual fee of $8,692 per year. Uh, at Syracuse University, where I used to teach, the students now pay $73,845 a year. Uh, that is way too much money. A lot of them end up in debt for the rest of their life. Uh, this is something I always had a problem with. This is one of the reasons why I did not want to continue to teach there because most of my people can't afford a number like that. And also, I didn't want to see people going in debt for life uh, for a college degree. So uh, basically, the cost to join this program is $2,999 
for an annual membership. $29.99 per year. That is the annual fee. Now, that is obviously not the fee that you have to pay uh, because you're here today. You can actually pay $17.99 per year. That's about $150 a month. And again, this is something that's designed to help you start making more money this week. This is something where once you sign up right away, you can start executing on the things that we lay out for you, uh, getting guidance, getting feedback, et cetera, getting coaching, et cetera, on how to generate more income and, uh, and how to level up your life right away. Uh, so the question I would ask you is this, give me a yes and no in the chat. If you did this and you were able to make an extra $30,000 a year, would it be worth it? Would it be worth it? Give me a yes or no in the chat. Would it be worth it if you made an extra $30,000 a year? Yes or no? Also, let me ask you this. Um, what if you didn't make $30,000 a year? What if you made $20,000 extra a year? That's easy. I have a lot of students that are making over $100,000 a year. But what if you just made $20,000 a year? Would it be worth it? Would it be a good investment? Yes or no? Okay, I see you, Kay and Lucius and David. Okay, Derek. Uh, what, and what if you only made $10,000 a year? Would it be worth it? Yeah. So because that's business, right? Business means that you put in a certain amount and you make more than what you put in. That is a positive flip. That is a good thing. OK, so uh, so so here's the deal. So let me uh, go ahead and dig in. I'm going to give you just a couple of testimonials uh, so that you can know that our students love this program. We get a lot of feedback from our students. Uh, this is a statement from a, a person named Danny Dean. Danny says, I love the information given the openness and honesty, the ability to communicate, uh, the ability to be able to communicate with Dr. Boyce to ask questions or to gain positive insight. That's what Danny Dean says. And, uh, and so one thing I will say to you, in addition to letting you know that our students absolutely love us, ask, ask the students in the Black Business School what they, what they think. They, they love the Black Business School uh, because we are the best on the planet at what we do. And, uh, and so uh, if you, if I know money's tight for some of you, so that, and that's okay. We do have a monthly payment option as well. The monthly fee is $3.99 per month. And uh, again, that's the monthly fee for this program. Uh, because you're here today, you can actually get in uh, for the next 24 hours for $239 a month. So you got two options. You can do an annual option for $17.99, or you can do a monthly option for $239. Annual leads to uh, a big discount uh, relative to the monthly, but it's all available to you, whichever route you want to go. So here are a couple of the testimonials from students. There are many, many more I can share with you. Uh, if you go to one of our events, you'll hear a, a ton of stories of people that really leveled up financially, that bought their first house, that start, bought their first rental property, that are investing in stock options, that are making money from the stock market, that are doing all kinds of things. Uh, it says, I love the uh, I love how you give everyday illustrations to explain what you're saying, says Inez Boykin. Uh, here's another statement from Jose L Lopez Ramos. He says, it has totally changed the way I look at the market. I would think there's no way to learn this market stuff. Now I'm filled with hope that I can use this information to make positive changes in my family's life. So no matter what level you're at, really no matter what age you're at, I can teach you this stuff. It's very easy for me to teach you. I've taught this stuff to seven-year-olds, okay? And it's important for you to learn it because this is where rich people come from. So the question you should ask yourself is, if you were able to make an extra $3,000 per month, uh, what would that do for your life? What would that do? I mean, think about this. The average car note is $503. Uh, if you look at the mortgage payment on a $300,000 house, that's $2,071. And even with those two payments coming in, you would still have $426 left over. Let's say you put that money in the stock market. What would that grow into in a 20-year period? That's $103,000, $103,471, assuming that the market grows the way it's been growing up until this point. So what, what am I saying there? What am I laying out for you there? What I'm laying out for you is that the difference between what is called middle class or not middle class versus wealthy people is not that great. It's just a matter of pivoting. It's a matter of simply changing the approach. It's a matter of putting your money in a place that's going to grow for you and work for you as opposed to putting it in places that are not working for you. So, so let's move on. Let me go ahead and uh, offer this also uh, a fast action bonus. The first 10 of you uh, from Willie D's channel. Uh, and I'm going to give you a special discount code just for Willie uh, and, and all of his people. Uh, the first 10 of you will get uh, two free bonuses. Number one is you can get two free VIP passes 
to the 2023 All Black National Convention. The All Black National Convention is basically a big black family reunion. This year, we're hosting it in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, October 28th through the 30th. Uh, this is where we have tons and tons of panels and speakers and trainings on everything from crypto to relationships to stock market investing to politics. Uh, the billionaires are going to be there. The CEO, the former CEO of the Air Jordan brand, Larry Miller, is going to come in. He's a good friend of mine. He's going to talk about how he took Michael Jordan's company from $300 million a year up to $3 billion a year. Willie D has spoken at the convention before. We have a lot of great people to come through, and the goal is to make our people better. That's what the convention is all about. So you get two free VIP passes. That is a $1,398 value. Also, you can get autographed copies of my books, Black American Money 1, 2, and 3. I will sign them personally and mail them to your house with a personal note just as a welcome to the program. That's for the first 10 of you that sign on with the annual membership. So uh, so the value of all the bonuses is $21.97. And so just a quick recap of everything you get. You get access to the bi-weekly coaching calls. You get access to the Financial Juneteenth Investing Masterclass. You get access to what Dr. Boyce is buying, where I tell you all the stocks that I'm buying from my own portfolio. You get access to the monthly family investment group. That is where you get support on the emotional side of making money. You get support if you have a fear of quitting your job. We can help you work through that. If you're having trouble working with your relatives, we can help you with that. Right. So we're bringing in the psychologist to help you get your mind right. Uh, so your money will be right. Also, and these are professional psychologists and not just motivational speakers. These are people that have licensed degrees that you can look up on the Internet. Uh, you get access to the investment training uh, program, blueprints and materials. You get access to the Dr. Boyce moneymakers. These are week by week stocks that I'm selling options on where I'm making money on them right now. You can make money along with me. Also, you get access to how to invest in, in stock options. There's a training program with that. You get access to that. Lastly, you get access to stock market investing material and Black Money 102 uh, that will help you if you just want to focus also on regular investing. Okay, so you have uh, you have these choices. I'm gonna lay out a couple choices for you and uh, and kind of just just be honest with you. All right, so basically you could do nothing, right? Uh, if you do nothing, that's okay. Uh, it's totally fine. You, uh, this is an offer. This is not uh, a reprimand. I'm not into high pressure, anything. If, if it did not work, I would not even want to talk to you guys about it. Uh, it. But remember this. If you do nothing at all, you're losing money. You're losing money. Uh, if you were going to make an extra $1,000 a month, uh, it's very easy for me to show you how to do that. Uh, over 12 months, you lose $12,000. Uh, if you were going to make an extra $2,500 a month, I don't know how much, uh, it depends on how much you have to invest or whether you can get your family members to invest with you. Uh, over 12 months, you're losing $30,000 a year. So not moving is uh, is, is going to cost you money. Okay. Uh, so the other option you have is you could just do it all by yourself. You could take what I've taught you today. That is yours. It's in your brain. You could go say, okay, well, you know what? I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, pay these people. I'm going to do it myself. That's cool. That's perfectly fine. But here's what's going to happen too. Uh, you're, first of all, you're not going to have access to the guidance and the coaching that we can give you. Uh, you're not going to have access to the collective of the community of, of people where we bring together ideas and figure out what to invest in. Uh, also, you won't get the benefit from the years of trial and error that I put in to avoid the landmines that are out there. Again, making money with stock options, and I explained this to Willie the other day, I said it's almost like making money in the jungle or, or, making money, or, or trying to go get money in the hood. If you don't know your way around, Bad things can happen. There's a lot of danger lurking around different corners if you don't know your way around. So the best approach sometimes is to get a guide. It's to say, hey, okay, if I give you a little something, will you make sure that I get to where I need to get to to get to where the gold is buried as opposed to me going in here and doing and just trying different things and experimenting and having things go bad? OK, so ultimately, uh, that's that's kind of what it is. That's me just being completely honest with you in this. I, I just want to lay that out there for you. So another quick testimonial. Uh, this is from Letitia Parker. Letitia says, Dr. Boyce is so thorough in his explanations. The examples he gives are very clear and easy to understand. I highly recommend the courses because you will most definitely get your money's worth. Actually, you get more than your money's worth because he goes above and beyond in making sure that the students learn what they need to be successful. He's simply the best. Just so you know, I do not know Letitia. I just know she's in my class. I simply asked my students, I said, tell me what you think. And this is what Letitia wrote. Okay. So if Letitia asks you, has she ever met Dr. Boyce? She's going to say, I haven't met him. I've just been in the class. Okay. So one last point I want to lay out for you is that uh, this is a, a, a risk-free investment for you and your family. Uh, th there's something that I call the Dr. Boyce hassle-free refund guarantee. Your happiness is really important to me. 
My goal is to serve you. If your life is not better because I am in it, then I should not be there. I, I will earn my spot. And in fact, I'm so confident that I will guarantee you, number one, that if you're not happy for any reason, you can just contact our team. We have a great support team at the Black Business School. The email is support at theblackbusinessschool.com, and they will give you all your money back hassle-free. And in fact, because we're so confident you're going to love this program, that if you get a refund, we will give you a $1,000 course for nothing. We will put you in a class that's worth $1,000. And you will have access to that class for free, just as an apology. And then at that point, all we would do is say, okay, what did we do that we could have done better? Because our number one goal is to serve you, right? We're not here to just take your money. We, we have to raise money in the Black Business School because we don't allow corporate sponsorships because we don't want corporations telling us what to say. We don't, we don't take money from the government. So we have to raise money because we have people on our staff that need to be paid. But beyond that, though, uh, we keep our prices as low as we possibly can so that we can serve as many people as possible. So that's the, that's the deal. That's what it is. So uh, if you want to take advantage of the offer, here's what you do. The website is drboyceprime.com. It's right there, uh, right there on the screen, drboyceprime.com. And you can use, uh, if you take the annual option, uh, you can use the code Willie D annual, all one word. Willie D. Willie D is bringing me in, so I want to. We're partnering on this, and uh, and again, there's complete transparency in all of this. So the code is Willie D annual. If you want to take advantage of the annual option, the code is Willie D monthly. If you want to take advantage of the monthly option, uh, and uh, and it's spelled right there. It's all one word: Willie D annual and Willie D monthly at drboyceprime.com. The offer expires in 24 hours. At that point, it's still it's still there, but the the prices go back to the regular price. So this is a 24 hour offer for those of you that are interested. Now, what I want to do is while I leave this up on the screen, um, I would like to ask you all, would, would you, do you have any questions for me? Do you have any questions about, about this offer? I'm going to put the link right there in the chat and I'll also put the codes on the screen um, uh, so you all can and can just you know go ahead and ask me questions. Let me, let me write Willie D annual. That's, that's for the annual. So if you click annual on the page, uh, and you put in Willie D annual, and then you put apply code, it will instantly drop your price by a thousand dollars. All right. So, uh, let's see here. Um, I'm looking for, uh, some questions. Okay. BB. Okay. Oh, BB. I see your, your, I, I'm going to just uh, look at what BB said. BB says Vicky stayed with him for years and never made money until lately when she started selling those fake class. Oh, Vicky. Yeah. Vicky Dillard. Uh, I do have a network. Uh, called Fly Nubian Queen, and Vicki Dillard uh, made hundreds of thousands of dollars with Fly Nubian Queen. Um, I can't tell all her business, but I can tell you that she did actually make a lot of money with us. So, so BB, I, I just want to make sure we address that so that you don't think that I just told her to just, uh, you know, let me just, you know, benefit from you and you're not getting something back. So that's something I haven't talked much about, BB, but I just wanted to address that so you would know because you're on Willie's channel, so I'm addressing it, but I really don't like talking about private business like that. But believe me, uh, there was a benefit. There's a reason that, that people stick around. But one thing I'll tell you, uh, as you guys put your questions in the chat, is that um, I've done a lot of content on a lot of people's channels. Like I've done stuff on Willie's channel and other people's channels. I've never gotten paid for anybody for content ever. I've never gotten paid to be on anybody's YouTube channel. And uh, and I'm OK with that. And the reason I'm OK with that is because sometimes you got to invest in yourself. If you want to blow up, if you want people to know who you are, if you want to uh, go to the next level, you got to be the first person to invest in you. So uh, if you look, even to this day, I go on people's platforms all the time and no one pays me to go on their YouTube channel. So uh, so even if, she, even if I hadn't paid her, uh, if you look at where her uh, brand was when we first started working with her versus where it was two, three years later, it went way up because we had three or 400,000 subscribers and I gave her access to that. So never forget that. So I want that's a lesson for everybody. If you're trying to do something, remember, nobody's really going to pay you to invest in you. You got to be the one to be willing to invest in you. If you ain't willing to invest in you, then ain't nobody going to invest in you. Do you understand? I don't know. I just want to make sure y'all understand that because y'all know me. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. All right. So let me see here. Um, let's see here. Uh, Okay. Uh, okay. I don't see any questions. Uh, I've been watching boys for a while and I'll get behind my brothers on this one. This man is no fake phony or fraud. We see this man's face every day. Let's get behind our brothers, learn to invest. Well, thank you for that, that compliment live with fam. I appreciate that. And, uh, you're right. I have done, I counted up the number of YouTube videos I have done and I have literally done like 19,000 videos in the last decade. 
and um, and they, they've gotten over half a billion views. And that was how Willie and I became friends because he he followed the channel and I just love the guy. So by the way, the uh, the website is drboyceprime.com. If you'd like to take advantage of the offer, the discount code is Willie D annual. If you do the annual, all one word, or Willie D monthly. Uh, is it realistic to turn a thousand dollars to ten k within one month? Uh, flu, that's hard to do. I'm gonna be honest with this. Very hard to do. But it, it, what is realistic is to take the thousand dollars and be able to create something that generates consistent income. Um, you know, and and the better skill you have at investing or running your business, the more uh, capable you are at generating that kind of flip. But I'd be lying to you if I told you that it's easy to flip a thousand into ten k. That does take time. Some stuff. There's no substitute for time. All right. Give an example of a stock option to buy. Um, one example was, uh, let's see, what's a company that I bought that I sold options on? Um, let me see here. Uh, there was, uh, let's see, for this week, one of those companies was uh, Roblox. Roblox, that's a good company because it uh, they, they're invested in the metaverse. And, uh, and I believe that they're going to make money long term. Um, let's see here. Is artificial intelligence and robot robotics a good investment? Yes. Um, that's, you know, uh, that's, that, that's just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's just my answer to that. Oh, SoFi is popping. Yeah. SoFi is doing better. Uh, options are great at times and sometimes it's fantastic. Yeah. Options are a great way to scale up your income. Um, I like to get on the sell side as opposed to the buy side. Being self-employed as a person in the service industry, how can I attend? Uh, well, in order, to, Hank, uh, everything's virtual and everything's recorded. So if you can't make class, the recordings are available to you. All you got to do is log in and everything's available to you. All right. So, uh, OK, so it looks like we, we've covered quite a bit. So if you want to uh, take advantage of the offer, it's available for 24 hours. You can go to drboyceprime.com. That's the URL on the screen. And the code is Willie D annual, all one word. If you'd like to take advantage of the annual discount of 40 percent off or Willie D monthly, if you'd like to go with the monthly option, it expires in 24 hours. So I want to say thank you all um, for hanging out with me today. And thank you to Willie uh, for uh, sharing his platform with me today. And uh, and again, if, if you want to uh, follow up and uh, stay connected, uh, you can just uh, go, go to my website, it's voicewalkins.com, uh, or you can find me on YouTube. I'm usually there every day talking about investments and stock market, things like that. Lucius, Lu let's see, Lucas says, can you answer my question, please? Uh, I don't, I don't, well, I can answer that question because I, but I don't see your other question, Lucas. So um, maybe if you, if I missed your question, maybe you could put the question in the second question. You know what I mean? Like, so, so I see you saying, did you, can you answer my question? The answer is yes, but I don't see the original question. Uh, what you teach that's different from the Oxford club. I don't know what the Oxford club is, but I can guarantee you that there's nobody on the internet that kind of does things the way I do it. Um, I have a, a deep understanding of this stuff. Um, again, a PhD level understanding kind of just, you just see stuff different. Let me just let me just say that. That's all I'll say. Uh, uh, let's see. Is this a good investment if on a fixed income limitations or restrictions? Yeah, we'll let her. And uh, in your case, what I would do is I would minimize your risk. Make sure you don't put yourself in too many risky situations. Also, if you have people in your family that you can pool your resources with, that's a good way for you to scale up uh, up your income. All right. So uh, thank you all very, very much. Uh, it was awesome to hang out with you. And uh, I'll put that. Um, please tell Dr. Alicia hello. I sure will. We'll let her. Absolutely, ma'am. And uh, and so just as a reminder, uh, if you want to take advantage of of the offer that I laid out today, you can go to drboyceprime.com. And uh, the uh, the discounts are Willie D annual or Willie D monthly. If you'd like to take advantage of the offer that I laid out today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sign on out. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And it was real. It was great talking to you. And, uh, and let's see, how long do we have to attend your school? Well, you know what, Fitness Hebrew, you can actually attend as long as you want. It's a it's a mentorship program. Uh, I have people that, um, you know, that have attended for years. And I have some people that attend, you know, just for a while. And then they want to go on and do something else. And that's totally OK. Uh, it really depends on your style and what you need. Uh, if you want to be your guide for the next 10 years or 20 years, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, Hank Deasy is Dr. Boyce Prime, the link. Yeah, go to drboysprime.com. I also put the link in the chat. So if you go to drboysprime.com, uh, the discount code, if you do the annual option, is Willie D annual. The discount code for the monthly option is Willie D monthly. All right. So uh, I hope you guys have a good day. And I, I hope that no matter what you do, you invest for your family. I hope that you take your, your wealth seriously. Uh, you can do this. 
the, there is a better life there out there for you. Uh, there are opportunities out there for you. I encourage you to love each other. I encourage you to build together. Uh, that's how we grow. Uh, Willie, the reason I'm here today is because Willie and I build together. We we build wealth together. Uh, he was in my wedding. We are very good friends. And, uh, and friends like that, solid people like that. Willie's a solid guy. That's why he and I are such good friends. And having solid people like that in your life, that's how you win. So, so get rid of the bums, stay away from the bums and find those solid people. Those are the people that you can invest with, that you can build with. All right. So uh, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day and uh, God bless you. And I'll see you all soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.